guys and welcome back to my channel. I want to make a really quick intro before we get started. Today I'm going to be doing some spring cleaning and decorating in the house. I'm super excited about it. I got a bunch of new decor pieces and I have a really, really cool thing to share with you guys. Uh, we're going to get into in just a minute. It's like been a lifesaver, life changing appliance that I have gotten and I want to share it. So I just wanted to say hi and show my face real quick and we're gonna jump right into it. I'm gonna make sure that I link everything down below, so don't worry, but we got cleaning and decorating and just a new vibe for the house and I'm so excited. This will be the first time I've decorated since I've redone the kitchen and if you haven't seen that, I'll make sure to link that down below too, but I gotta go because the baby just woke up. I just heard him, so I just wanna make a quick little intro before we jump right into the cleaning and decorating. Starting off in the kitchen is way more fun now that it's already done. To be honest, I avoided showing it for the past few years because it was really embarrassing to me. Don't let the internet fool you. Even those of us who make videos about our house are sometimes embarrassed of it. So I honestly can't tell you how happy I am to have it all finished. It just feels so much easier to clean and decorate and I don't hate being in here anymore. I've received a lot of questions about the counters since I painted them and so far they're actually holding up really great with the epoxy. I don't cut directly on them though, which you really shouldn't do for most types of counters and they are pretty heat resistant though I try not to push my luck and set anything super hot on them. Just to introduce myself if you're new here, my name is Keely. I'm 31 years old and my middle name is really Rainbow. I make YouTube videos about home decor, holidays, DIYs, and motherhood, and I like to keep it real. I'm a normal mom with a normal house who wears leggings almost every day and my baby never naps. I live in North Carolina, I have three kids, and I'm married to my husband, Tim, who works in the oil field, which means he's hardly ever here and you're probably never gonna see him. I wanna be your new mom friend who will encourage you, give you life hacks to be the mom you wanna be, and I promise I will never judge you as long as you don't judge the fact that sometimes I just close my kids' doors so I can pretend that their room isn't messy. I would love to have you subscribe. I put up videos every week here on YouTube, and I also post a ton on TikTok and Instagram, so make sure to go check me out over there. There's at least one part of my cleaning I don't have to do by myself, and that's because of the help of my new little friend, the Dreamy Tech L10 S Ultra. Y'all know my floors get so messy between three kids, a dog, and two adults. I literally could clean them two times a day, and still, they would end up messy. Help has arrived. With my new little robot vacuum and mop, I can just set it down and forget it because it vacuums and mops my floors for me. Not only does it vacuum and mop for me, but it also empties its dust box by itself when it's full, mops and dries the floors to prevent odors, mold, and bacteria growth, and it refills its own water in solution. Honestly, cleans the floors way more efficiently than I can. Other cool features about the Dreamy Tech L10S Ultra are that it maps your home, learns obstacles, creates a schedule, and works with Alexa, Google, and Siri. It's probably the coolest little vacuum I have ever used, and I cannot tell you how excited I am to add it to the family. You can get a Dreamy Tech L10S Ultra by clicking the link in the description. It is definitely an investment worth making because it has been life-changing. really been leaning into a new decor style lately. It's a little transitional, but it also might be a little bit like light academia and a little cottage core-ish. I don't know. I really don't have a great name for it to be honest, but I'm just really loving like golds, blacks, natural woods, greenery, books, candles, like other neutral things. Just a little bit more sophisticated than my previous decor style. 
I have been shopping at thrift stores and antique shops a lot to find items that I want to get, but I also did get some new stuff from Target. I mean, you can't go wrong with Target. It will always have something good. When I redecorate, I always come up with a plan first, so I'll make a list of all the items that I will need and each space that I'm going to decorate. For example, I'll say something like vase and green floral for the bar area, and then that will help me when I go to a store about what to look for because sometimes I'll get super overwhelmed. It seems to be a much better tactic for me than just winging it and hoping for the best when you're out shopping because when I get there at the store, I will never remember exactly what it was that I was trying to decorate or what I wanted it to look like. So making a list and a little bit of a plan helps. Switching out my tablecloth for a neutral linen tablecloth. It should carry me through the summer as long as no one totally ruins it, but I'm not gonna hold my breath because that is likely to happen. I do have three kids and two adults and a dog in this house, but I guess that's also why I buy cheap tablecloths from Amazon. I keep thinking about just redoing my table, but I'm not sure what I want it to look like to fit in with like my new decor style. So if you have any ideas, let me know. I don't wanna buy a new one. I just would like to repurpose the one I have, but I don't know if I wanna paint it or sand it or what I wanna do. My bar cart is meant to look elegant and cute. Right now it looks like it's in a college frat house. Don't judge me. There was a sale on Snoop Dogg's 99 Crimes Cali Red Wine and I bought several since it's my favorite. Anyway, I'm hoping to bring it up at least a little bit more so it's just a tiny bit more classy. Uh, so I did lean a picture, add a plant, a few candles, and you know, it's basically the picture of class now. Not really, but it's better than it was. may or may not know I have a white couch. Uh, that was probably a terrible move, but I love my white couch. It looks so nice. The covers do come off, but they are kind of a pain in the butt to put back on. So when no one is coming over, I've been keeping white blankets on the cushions so I don't have to wash it every single day of my life. I would love to just steam clean it, but the couch has feathers inside, so I don't know if that would work very well. Let me know if you have any insight on that. But anyway, I have been trying to decide on some cushion covers from Amazon, but I haven't pulled the trigger on any yet, but it's gonna happen. So 
as always, if you're new here or wondering what is coming up next, buckle up so I can tell you. I have a few fun projects coming up this spring and summer. First, I'll be redoing my downstairs bathroom to give it the more sophisticated vibe I'm trying to get in my house. It was my first ever room makeover when we moved in, and so it is high time that I give her a facelift. Then after that, I'll be sharing a backyard makeover with planting, cleaning, and probably talking crap about my dog who has dug 800 holes in the yard that I'll be filling in. And then of course a patio makeover. That one is always a favorite and I have some big plans again this year to make it a fun space for everyone to enjoy. So Tim is wanting a hot tub, but we'll see how that goes. Side note, if you sell hot tubs, sponsor me because those things are expensive. Just kidding, kind of. Anyway, lots of good stuff coming up. Can't wait to share, so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out. favorite decor items are books. They're super inexpensive and you can pick them up at the thrift store. I think I paid like 50 cents each for these and I chose them literally based off the color scheme I was going for. It has nothing to do with which book it is. They make a great centerpiece or look nice on a shelf. If you can get books you might actually want to look at. That's a plus of course but I just settled for books that match the color scheme and of course I got where the sidewalk ends because I feel like that's a staple book to have in a house you know. Depending on how well you know me, you may or may not know that both of my daughters do competitive dance. If you're not familiar with competitive dance, it's a lot, okay? We do several competitions a year as well as lots of performance appearances and opportunities and tons of hours at a studio. It, it's very time consuming. Anyway, this is their costume trunk. It's a hot mess that has thrown up all over my entryway table. And so here I am organizing it all for probably the 25th time this season. Don't get me wrong though. I love being a dance mom and this bag is amazing. I'll link it down below. It's made by Diva Dolly and it works great for dance, but it would probably also work amazing for like cheer or anything that requires bringing a bunch of crap to one place with you and like needing outfit changes because this is an amazing bag. I wasn't sure what I wanted to do for the decor here, so I literally pulled random things from other parts of the house and just kind of experimented with it. I will need to get some prints for these frames I'm putting up. Etsy is my favorite place to do that because I can get ones that perfectly match what I'm looking for, and oftentimes they're very inexpensive to buy and have printed at Walgreens. For now, I'll just put the frames up. But in fact, I won't be changing out the tiny frame because that was actually my grandmother's. I found it in some of my dad's things, and when I can, I like to incorporate things like that around my house. It just makes me happy. I never actually met my dad's parents, but this makes me feel like some sort of connection with them. I just like to have things in a house that are both, you know, go with the aesthetic, but are also meaningful if I can. So let's recap and show you guys all the spaces I decorated. It's not a ton, but I just really love how it turned out. It feels so much more timeless and sophisticated to me. You have to let me know what you think. It has been fun trying to figure out well, like what my new style is and trying to make it all go together. Anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed hanging out with me today. And if you haven't already, make sure to check out my, my new BFF, that vacuum that's linked down below. So it's amazing, love her. Anyway, I will talk to you guys next time in my next video. And by the way, if no one's told you today, you're doing a really great job. Bye.